So we've just finished the tasting, and what I found um, quite interesting was that of, of nine dishes using olives and olive oil, six were desserts, which I thought was quite, um, quite risky. Um, but there were some very, very interesting uses of the olive oils and desserts. There was some nice balance. There were some very imaginative plates, some beautiful plating. And I thought overall a very, very good use of, of the olives and the olive oil. Yeah, I think competitions like this are amazing for young up-and-coming chefs. Um, specifically, if they're going to go into a la carte uh, environment where it's high pressure and um, they need to be organized and understand those pressures. So I think the competitions is just a stepping stone for them to start feeling that kind of pressure. Three things about this fabulous competition that I absolutely love. Number one is that it's a fabulous networking opportunity. Number two is that it's about being curious and it's about working with an ingredient that you might not have been familiar with. And so you get to explore that. And number three is that who doesn't like a prize? If you have to consider what these competitions can actually do for the young chefs of tomorrow, it's a matter of exposure, they have a new opportunity of looking at an ingredient in a different way. Um, if you think about the type of ingredients that we were exposed to, things have changed radically and the quality of the dishes that the kids are preparing today, can't wait for everybody to taste it, it's really exciting. If people can use a simple oil or um, a simple ingredient and create it in some masterwork and piece to not only look at and enjoy but eat. Why not? 